In the final step of installation, I'm going to show you how to upload a new theme for your website so that you're not stuck with this default theme, so that you can pretty much change your website look as much as, an, as, much as you want and as often as you want. So what we need to do is take that file, and I've already unzipped this, and I've actually already uploaded this in the correct place to save time so that we can immediately see the results. But you unzip um, the download files that you got from themes.wordpress.net or, or some other free or paid WordPress theme site. And you unzip that, and when you open that up, it has another folder. So some of them probably, maybe some of them don't, but a lot of them, if not all of them that I've seen, have this secondary folder. So you want the folder that's actually holding these files. And so you go back up, and in your Smart FTP, you know, whatever folder you have, if it's public HTML or, you know, in our case, my WordPress website, you're going to go to WP Content and then Themes. And you're just going to drag that folder right into the Themes folder and allow that to upload and what's going to happen is in your dashboard you're going to go to design and remember they can here again I'm just trying to let you know this that things can change this is the website the way it looks now but it could change but um, you can go to design and it will bring up all of the themes that are currently installed they have a WordPress classic and a default and then the one that we've installed all you have to do to switch themes is click on it and allow that to load and then when you go to your site and you can refresh it now it has a completely different theme and so you can go to themes.wordpress.net or the other sites like that do a Google search or something for those type of themes WordPress themes and you can find as many options as you would like and there's there's ways to customize these and um, you know you can find out about that as well but if you just want to pull up um, a different look for your site you can download a new theme unzip it get that right folder pull it into the WP content themes folder and you can change the site as much as you want and so now um, you are at a place where you're going to be able to customize it in the future you can add an email subscription box you can you can do all these kind of things and change the theme as much as you would like on your custom WordPress blog